What's up everyone? I got the new Langdon Tactical RDO plate for the Leopold Delta Point Pro. I'm going to go over some compatibility issues that I've had with the plate. Langdon Tactical has already been notified and they have updated their website. But at the time that I purchased this, it did state that it was compatible with the SIG Romeo 1, which is what I was going to use it with. You can see there that it is in fact not compatible with that um, because of the support pins or whatever you want to call these in the back. Uh, do not uh, do not fit into the Romeo 1. And they had some other red dots listed as well. I think the shield was listed and they took those down as well. So they said it's only compatible with the Leopold Delta Point Pro, which you can see there, as well as the SIG Romeo 2 that they said they've tested it on. So just kind of be aware that if you get this plate, it'll only work with those two red dots. And then one other issue I have is with the mounting screws that uh, are supplied. Um, Langdon Tactical uses T-nuts on their plates which is actually smart uh, as it gives more lateral support. It actually has four uh, areas of support that go into the Leopold Delta Point Pro. They've actually had six if they made uh, some pins for the front area. But there's four, which actually gives it a lot of lateral support with the front and the back as well. But the problem is these screws diameter are much smaller than the actual diameter of the holes for the Leopold Delta Point Pro, and they're so long. So there's a little bit of play um, in the you know when you screw it down like actually you can kind of see it there so i'm going to go to home depot and see if i can actually find some washers some nylon washers that'll fit inside this hole and then also accommodate these screws to give it a snugger fit that way when i uh i screw it down onto the plate um there's less play in the screws and it'll actually keep the little delta point pro a little bit snugger because you can actually see there's a little bit of a side to side play right there um because there's nothing in the front to you know kind of lock in the front area from playing it's it's all in the back okay so i went to home depot and i got a uh some nylon spacers like i was talking about and i got something that was close to fitting but it wasn't exactly the right size it was a little too large you can actually see that there it does not fit into the church card hole so what i did was i chopped it down to size there i already have one in there so it's been tested i took a razor and cut off bunch like this just a little bit like like so to allow the spacer to compress like that and I took my pliers and I squeezed it together so it's like a circle again and then I did this and there and you can see that the screw she does fit in there it does have a little bit of play still so uh, when I put it in here I had a get it snug fit the threading will thread into the nylon because it's just plastic and then because it's so short um this is basically what it'll look like it'll thread into the plastic once it's compressed and add you know a little bit of stability on the side to side movement on the trigicon uh, because the bottom portion of this is into the uh the t-nut on the bottom of the plate so uh, I just tested it with one screw and it actually seems to be a lot more snug than without the spacer. So now I'm going to put the second washer in, show you what that looks like um, once I get it in, and then I'll show you just how to screw in the screw. Okay, so you can see there that I've got it started there. It's obviously not sticking in all the way, so I'm going to stick something in to get it down below the surface. And you can push it in as far as it goes because it's just going to hit the T-nut. Then once you start to screw in the screw, it is not going to go in all the way because um, the, the nylon washer is now too close. So if you just start threading it, you'll see that the screw is now um, being threaded into the washer, which is being compressed by the hole on the, uh, the trigicon. And don't want to go too fast. Um, just go slow because you want to make sure you'll feel it when it engages the T-nut because you don't want to over crank the T-nut because I've actually cracked the T-nuts before. So now I can actually feel it starting to engage the T-nut right about there. And then just keep going. And then once I, once I feel it start to fit snug there, I don't want to over torque it. And voila, I have... My Trigicon actually now feels a little bit more secure with those screws. Um, with the nylon bushing, nylon nut, 
and uh, they're not gonna actually they're not gonna back out accidentally I don't think I need any Loctite on them because the bushing is gonna keep the screw in place and it does feel pretty snug so I'll do a range report on how well this is holding up with the Trigicon nylon bushings uh, with these screws but overall I think that's actually uh, a little bit more sturdy than uh, than using the screws as they were so that's how I solved my problem with the new SRO plate or the new sorry uh, RDO plate from LTT uh, on my Beretta and uh, let me know what you guys think.